Hey everyone, so it is Epic Box Day number five. So today I have made um, something really cool. So this came in the Epic Box for this month in the subscription. This is our uh, rotisserie chicken seasoning mix. And you guys are not gonna believe this if you have never seen this done before, it's gonna blow your mind. This is a whole roast chicken. So um, what I did was I put that seasoning mix right onto a three pound chicken and put it into our steamer, um, our round steamer in the microwave for exactly 20 minutes. I took it out of the microwave. I put in the um, meat thermometer to double check. It was at 180 Fahrenheit and it was at exactly 180 Fahrenheit. So I'm going to show you what it looks like and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. All right, so here's the steamer. I've taken this out maybe five minutes ago, if even, maybe not even five minutes ago. And so here is the chicken. It is looking beautiful. You can see the steam still coming off of it. The steamer um, has, there is, look at the moisture in there. There's no oil or anything added. Literally all I put on there is that sachet, that packet of the rotisserie chicken seasoning. And what we're gonna do with this is we are going to um, make up some Caesar salad and have a chicken Caesar, whoops. So um, here you have may have seen these before. This is our uh, prep pro um, prep containers. <laughs> this is our small size. So earlier in the week when I was meal prepping, I took a head of romaine, chopped it all up. And I'm gonna see if I can show you this here. You can see that there's like a sort of a tray on the bottom that separates and allows um, air to flow underneath. So you're not gonna have that lettuce sitting right on the bottom, getting soggy and gross. And here, this little extra, extra bit, this can go in to either separate it into two halves. So if you had two different veg and you were say doing some peppers on one side and some celery on the other, or you can even layer it this way. So this will sit halfway in sits uh, right about there and so you could put some um, you put you could layer your veg uh, at, or you could put two different types of veg in there and layer it that way it's a great tool um, it comes with a larger size as well it has a little date checker on the top my son really enjoyed figuring out what date we did that and, and putting the date on there correctly so we're gonna do a grilled chicken Caesar and um, I'm gonna show you We've just made up some Caesar salad dressing. And what I love about our dressings is you can make them to order. You can make them and um, put in the ingredients you want. If you want to keep it really low dairy, this one is, um, our Caesar dressing does have skim milk powder in it. So you cannot make it completely dairy free, but you can um, kind of cater, you know, whether you want to add um, to it, you can add some uh, Greek yogurt or you can use mayonnaise, whichever you prefer. Um, and then you could use an oat milk or like, you know, an alternative milk if you want to keep the dairy content lighter. Um, I added some extra garlic into that one. And, you know, you can customize it if you like your anchovies. You can throw some of those in there too. And you can make a lot or you can make a little. So we've just made a portion that is really going to be kind of just for tonight's meal. And the other thing we did um, is I boiled up some potatoes and I've just started mashing them up to make a mash. And we're going to use our, uh, ah, I lost it, my gravy. Oh, our vegan gravy, which is kind of fun, which um, is just a healthier gravy. It's made based with um, nutritional yeast. So that is the base of this gravy rather than meat. And so this one is um, available currently um, at the time of filming, but it is going into the Epicure vault for the summer season. So depending on when you're watching this, this may or may not be still available, but if you are in the season when we have it, it is a fantastic gravy. So that's gonna be an amazing meal, super excited. It's one of my kids' favorites, and I'm gonna finish setting that up, and I am so excited for what's next in the Epic Box.